Hi everyone, this is Deborah with Cottage to Courtyard. Thank you for joining me this evening for the tour of my shabby chic patio. I'm standing here right before the gate so I can kind of show you at a distance what it looks like. And then I will be give you, giving you some close-ups of a couple of things before we go in. And uh, then I'll walk through and kind of explain things as we go. You may hear the fountain running, which is behind me, and a little bit of traffic noise because we live near a busy road. So I'm hoping that that won't uh, interfere too much and it will be an enjoyable video for you. So um, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna whack it here and to the right, I have an urn on each side of the gate with statuary and I put some candles out here to have a nice little glow this evening for you all. Make it very welcoming. It's very romantic feeling. And there's my garden gate sign. And then as you see on this picture, or in this picture, uh, one of my very tall pink columns. I have a pair of them. And then they pan over to the left, and the other one is just to the left here on the other side of the gate. Those were a garage sale find about mm, three years ago, three, four years ago, and they were $32 each. So they were white and I brought them home and I painted them, had them painted pink. So they fit in really nicely with the decor here. And as you can see on my patio, I have curtains hanging up and I just recently made those. I used to have lace ones out here and I decided I wanted to, to make drop cloth curtains. So I bought several, um, drop cloths at Home Depot and I sewed rod pockets on them and hung them up and they really give a lot of privacy and block out the sun when it's bright here and also just makes it feel really cozy and you can see I have a seating area the patio is, is narrow but it's very long so um, there's only a certain way that I can have seating area here on the patio but um, it works for me and it's just my little sanctuary and my happy place. I just love it. And I spend a lot of time out here in the mornings with my little chihuahuas. This is where I come and just kind of unwind as I wake up and um, have my coffee and um, look at, at YouTube videos and, and all the co beautiful comments that everyone leaves me. I really appreciate that so much. So without further ado, I'm going to open the gate, excuse the wobbling of the camera, and I'm going to take you up inside on the deck. Hold on. That was a cowbell that you heard. I have one on my gate. It was a gift at Christmas from our daughter. And I'm going to turn around and just show you the other poem. And there's my gate. And they made that little floral arrangement there that hangs on my gate probably about three years ago. It stays out there all year long. There's the other column. And this large corbel is one of a pair that I got in Texas about five years ago. And um, I usually have them in the house, but I decided I wanted to bring them outside on the patio. So um, the plan is to get some nice greenery, some silk greenery to put up on the tops of them. There's some ivy or something that looks really nice um, as soon as Hobby Lobby opens and I can, you know, go look for some. So anyway, I have, like I said, I have a pair of them. And I'll just kind of pan around and I'll show you. And this window here, that's my office. And I kind of wanted to make it, I don't know, look a little bit better. So I decided I wanted to hang curtains on the outside of it just to dress it up a little bit. And I kind of like the way it turned out. Makes it feel a lot nicer and cozier here. And then there's one of my hydrangeas and the birdhouse that's on a pole that I had my husband put in the pot for me. And then that door that you see there goes into our master bedroom. So it's a really nice place to come in the evening and sit. And like I said, I spend a lot of time out here in the mornings. And just pan around here. We have all the patio lights on so you can see and the candles on the uh, candelabras that I showed you the other day in my video, the preview. And those large corbels that are up there on either side of the window, those were um, 
in a haul that I, I did, I showed you guys some of the things that my husband bought me for Mother's Day. So I really um, was happy to find them and uh, they fit just perfectly there on each side of that section of the lattice and the curtains. And as you can see, the pink chandelier was a garage sale find, $5. I brought it home, painted it, added all the bling, and I just love it. It doesn't light up. The electrical was shot in it, so I just use it just as a decoration. I really like it. And then that um, large oval pink mirror was a thrift store find for $8. It was gold. I brought it home, painted it pink, and I stenciled Shabby Rose Cottage on it because that's what I named our house when we bought it four years ago. And then I hang it up here and then just add a, added a beautiful um, rose garland to it. And I really like the way that it looks. And there's the other tall candelabra you can see and the side of the um, potting shed or potting station, excuse me, slash armoire that I showed you in the um, preview video of my patio. And then there's the other large corbel. And then there's my little coffee table. It was a garage sale find about five years ago and I painted it pink and I added the linen to it and then I um I collect like chipped teapots and things like that because I like to use them out here and these are their chipped but they're still really very pretty so I enjoy decorating with them out here and using them here for decoration. Okay now I'm going to turn around and, and give you a look back the other way. This is from the back of my house looking forward to the street and you can see under the arbor toward the front I have another chandelier hanging there. I love chandeliers, as you can tell. And then here is my potting station. Let me back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Like I said, this deck is, uh, patio, excuse me, is kind of narrow, but it's long, so um, I don't really get a lot of wide shot views with my camera so that's why I'm filming this in the portrait format so they could get everything okay and as I said this was a um, Craigslist find about three years ago and um, the lady I bought it from she had it painted a really light pink but it was not a good paint job and she had taken the doors off and she was using it for her baby's changing table and um, when her baby got older she decided to sell the armoire so she still had the doors and the doors on top were solid wood at that time and um, so we brought it home and I had my husband cut the center panels out and add the chicken wire and I'll show you what else we did to the inside so that I could use it for a potting station and I just love it because it has the nice drawers there and then the bottom holds a lot of stuff which is really great it's very sturdy. It has three coats of pink paint and um, two coats of polyacrylic over the top and it sits out here all the time. It's protected from the weather so it's just a, a pretty workhorse I think because I really do use it. I know you probably don't think I do but I do use this to do a lot of potting and that sort of thing. So here we go. Here's the inside. And I just had my hubby install this chandelier in there that's a vintage one that we picked up in an antique store it's kind of a petite one but I just love it and then um, I had him cut a hole so that I could put this bowl that we picked up at an antique store in here to hold my potting mix and it works out perfectly it holds just the right amount for like a medium-sized pot and then um, I can <clears throat> use it for other things as well if I'm not going to be using it for potting, I can also clean, wash the bowl out, of course, and put ice in it and put like bottled water in and that sort of thing if I'm entertaining out here. And that's always a, a fun, versatile thing to do. But I have just fun stuff inside and um, you can see the dried flowers. Those are from my hubby. 
and then just some some pretty decor pieces and my gloves and my tools and some seeds and again another teapot that was chipped that I picked up to decorate with and then that uh, old painting was about ten dollars from a thrift store I really like that and then I added this old crate and turned it on its side and it just holds nice things this cute little cherub with some of my old dried hydrangeas from my garden. And a cute little birdhouse up on top. And then I just got this book. This was also one of my Mother's Day gifts. And I don't know if any of you ladies have it or not. But it's a, a wonderful book about vintage roses. And it talks about everything from propagating to how to pot them, how to water them, how to feed them. So I got it off of Amazon, and I think it was about $17.99, but it's a wonderful book, and it's also beautiful. It has gorgeous pictures in it, so if that's something that you're interested in, you might want to check that out, because it's a great book. Okay, so I'm going to back up and close the doors so I don't knock myself out here. <laughs> and then I'm going to turn around this way. I'm going to show you the other side of the armoire, and that's just a little um, coat rack or hat rack there that I had my husband attached to the side of it, and I really like that I can hang my hat on it when I'm out here working in the flower beds and stuff. And there's one of my hydrangeas, it's blooming, it's absolutely beautiful. And then there's a little doggy door for our two little chihuahuas, Maggie and Bella. The little princess door and then here's another one of my um, large potted hydrangeas here on the deck okay. well I hope you enjoyed seeing my patio I really enjoy this it's very relaxing out here and Gosh, ladies, I can't tell you how easy it is to pick things up at thrift stores, garage sales, and that sort of thing to decorate your spaces with. That really helps your money go a long way, and it just adds so much character and charm like nothing else does. And if you're wondering if my husband comes out here with me, yes, he does. And he also has his own patio on the other side of the house his man side as he calls it and it's very manly with all kinds of guy stuff so we use both sides and it's just kind of fun but he basically just added this deck for me so i have my own little private area plus it's really great for our dogs they they get to be out here with us so anyways i'm gonna let you all go and i hope you enjoy this video and if you did, please give it a like. And if you have any questions or comments, please do leave them. I'd be happy to, to answer them. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.